This tutorial introduces the Air Management System web server and configuration setup. To set the configuration of the system, we first need to set up the dip switches. These are found by loosening this screw and lifting up the cover. Only the first four switches in the first bank of dip switches are used here. Switch 1 is for communication method. Switch 2 is for regulation type. Switch 3 is for the normally open or normally closed option, and switch 4 is for wireless pairing mode. This table in the operation manual shows the breakdown of the selectable functions via the DIP switches. The system has a web server which can be used for configuration and maintenance. In order to access the web server, we must first connect a PC to the network and use SMC's IP address setting tool software to set an IP address. We can then set the PC's IP address and subnet mask to the example shown here. Then, open up a web browser and type in the appropriate system hub IP address in the address bar. Press enter when done. Once connected, you will see the login page. There are two account options in the drop-down, Monitor and Administrator. Select Administrator, and enter admin as the password. Click the login button to enter. The main page of the web server shows the system configuration with all the connected units. On the left-hand side, there is the navigation panel, used to navigate between each system unit. Home, returns you back to this Air Management System main page. Air Management Hub, this contains a graphical representation of the actual unit. In this instance we have a manual regulator type. Below this, there are tabs to select from, which will vary depending on the type of system. These tabs are, System Parameters, Sensor, and general I.O. link port. Moving the cursor around the image, we can select different modules of the system. The tabs can also be used to select each module. OPC UA, this page allows us to set the parameters for OPC UA. We will look at details on this in the tutorial video. Certificate, here is where certificates can be added or removed for OPC UA communication. System log will show any errors that have occurred on the system. When remotes are connected to the base, the option to select wireless log will appear, this will show wireless signal information. Expanding on the remote's ID, gives access to the air management hub setting and system log. The standby EP regulator tab, this will appear for systems that are ITV type only. Here we can set the operating and standby pressures, we can also set the pressure ramp up duration. There is also an option to lock the device. System parameter tab, here we are able to view the status of the system, but we can also force it into standby and isolation mode. From the drop-down, we will select standby, then click right parameter to confirm this. The display will show the system is now in standby mode. We will now change back to AMS, system mode. Sensor tab. Here we can set the parameters for standby and isolation mode. General IO link port, here we can set port 4 to either IO link, digital input, digital output, or deactivated. In the system drop down, opening network or setting allows you to modify network settings and change the password for the administrator. Clicking on Logout will log you off the hub and back to the main login page. Thank you. 
This concludes this video on the Air Management Systems web server and configuration setup.